Okay, so uh, it looks like Kiyotaka is here. Good morning. Uh, yeah, good morning. Hmm, morning greetings are quite a delight. This is an energizing way to start the day. Now let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Uh, sure. I do wonder if he's always like this. I do wonder indeed. Um, okay, well that's his room. Uh, Saika should be right here. Hmm, there's a doorbell next to it. I guess we could use that. Hello? Ah, good morning, Saika. Oh, Makoto, perfect time. Hmm? Listen, I have a favor to ask. Ooh, the favor? I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Where are you headed? Oh, um... been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Hmm. I mean, I guess it's not a horrible idea to get something for self-defense. Yeah, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us at any time. You never know. Hmm. Whoever presented us with the rules for murdering each other, whoever put us in the same position, she's right, we never know when they might attack. So uh, yeah, I, I understand Saika, that makes sense. A weapon to protect herself. Hmm, now that I think about it, the display case in the gym entryway has a bunch of stuff, maybe... Oh, the gym? Okay, let's go. Again? Like I said, I'm a psychic. Come on, just kidding, it's my amazing intuition. Am I really that easy to predict, or is she a psychic? I'm really not sure. But, uh, yeah, we should, uh, go. Oh, for anyone who just hates walking around school, we've got some good news. You can now teleport using the map section icon of the handbook menu. It's as simple as opening the map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. Plus, you can't teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off. And depending on certain story moments, there will be times where you won't be able to teleport at all. Funny, try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you get, could get lost. Forever. Well then, good luck and have fun. Huh, that's pretty cool. Okay, um... Well, let's uh, actually try it out then. Uh, let's open this up. Right, so let's go to the map then. And, um, okay. So the hallway main area, there are a few people here, it seems. Uh, there's a few people in the dining hall. Um, he's in the laundromat. Um, anyone else around? No, oh, it doesn't seem to be the case. You know what, actually? Um, can I exit? I want to re real quickly just check, actually, if I can see anyone else. Ah oh, yeah, here we go. I just want to talk to some people and see if I can get some more information. Yeah, we're having a nice day. Good morning. <laughs> Such a common greeting is somehow strange, given the circumstances. I suppose it is a little bit odd. You know, sometimes you scare me a little. Well, I'm off. Okay, should we get going? Yeah, we probably should. Alright, so there's some bathrooms over here, I think. Um, what's this door then? Alright, this is just back. Okay, there's a laundry room or something? What? What is this room? A trash room? I don't know what it is. We're going to the gym, right? Yeah, that's right. Good, let's get moving. Okay, I guess I'm not allowed to go to any other rooms. Are you gonna say anything interesting? Mm hmm. Miss Megan, Miss Maizono, where are you two off to? A man and a woman, grown closer. Uh, yeah, stop with your mm. perverted thoughts. Uh, you know what? Thank you for thinking it's poetic, um, but yeah, I don't have a clue what he's talking about. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. Alright, it doesn't look like there's anyone else here. Oh, oh, wait, there is someone here. No, wait, that's... Sayaka? Well, aren't we with Sayaka right now? I think that isn't supposed to... 
Right, that, that makes very little sense because we're actually with Taika, but she's also showing up here. Alright, so where was the gym then? Um, it is... I don't know where it is. Okay, the bathroom seems to be locked lock off for now. There seems to be a gate here, so we can't go there. And this is the dining room, right? But wait, we're going to the gym. Okay. Um. Oh, here's the laundry room, so we probably can't go there either. Um. So how do I make it to the gym? I should probably just teleport. Yeah, you know what? Let's just uh, let's just use our new map function to teleport. Dormitory, Hope's Peak, first floor. Gym first floor. Yeah, let's uh, go to the gym entry. Here we are. This is the gym. So, um, let's uh, talk. Hmm, here we go. Might be able to find something here to protect myself with. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find something in the display case I can use. Alright, well, let's check it out. I mean, there's this katana. Is this a sword? Uh, no, just a replica. Still pretty impressive. Completely covered in gold coating. But I barely touched it and got that gold stuff all over my hands. Mm, you're right, your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little, well... I mean, it's better than nothing, but... You should take it with you. It might help living up your room a little. You think so? Mm, maybe be careful with taking it back, wrapping it in a newspaper or something. Well, I guess that's that. I don't think anything I could really use for self-defense, but... Hey, you don't need it right away, so it's okay. If anything were to happen, uh, I'll protect you. Ooh, playing the hero, are we? You'll protect me? Thank you for saying that. I've got you on my side, so I don't need a weapon after all. Hmm. That mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from the heart. Makes me feel at ease. And look at her, I feel I can do anything. Okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then, but... As long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Hmm, you want to hang out at the gym some more? Was there anything else uh, worth checking out? That's the way to leave. So I guess we should just talk. Hmm. I always really want to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. I was the one who invited you to come with me too. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. If there's nothing to talk about, we can just not talk, right? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just stare off into space. Mm. Stare off into space? Hmm. Oh, you're probably bored standing around doing that. No, it's not boring. It's just... I've never done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. I guess that makes sense. She is like a pop idol and everything. You're not really a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do. Hmm. Hey, it's kind of out of nowhere, but... Do you have a dream? A dream? Well, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? Hmm. My dream is... I want to be a star as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know? My dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know? So I was really lonely. That all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess, and she could sing and dance. And more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. Eventually, that became my dream. Wow, that's quite amazing that you were able to fulfill your dream. It's really incredible. Not many people get to do that. Mm, but I guess she did whatever it took to reach that dream. And uh, yeah, some things that weren't so pleasant. Um, I'm not sure if I sh know what you're talking about exactly. I have a hunch and I hope my hunch is not correct. But uh, let's just move on. Um, mm. 
honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But you can't take your eyes off your dream, not for a second. Even if it's sometimes a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep, to make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it, no matter what. In what world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind? You have to keep swimming against the current, not taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. Yeah, that sounds pretty hardcore. I'd be willing to believe it. Is that really that tough? It's not fun at all? Oh no, don't get the wrong idea, it's super fun. But that's kind of what scares me. What do you mean? I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing, we're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, they're like a family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's the thing that scares me most. If the world gets tired of us, what happens? What happens to us? The dream dies, the wonderful days come to an end, everyone goes their separate ways. Wow, that's... That's pretty uh, terrifying, yeah. She worked so hard and sacrificed a lot, so she must be terrified of losing it. So, yeah, that's the reason I decided to come to Hope Speak. What, what do you mean? Well, they say if you graduate here, success is guaranteed. So if I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least, that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but now we're trapped in here with no way out. Yeah, that didn't really work out for us, did it? They're probably waiting for me. When I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still... Uh, Sayaka? I can't afford to be stuck in here. That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds so desperate. But I can't understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying. I can't even imagine it. Mm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to complain. I kind of killed the mood, huh? No, it's okay. It was uh, quite interesting, actually. No need to apologize. Uh, Sayaka, are you hungry? Why don't we go to the dining hall and grab some food? So, you want to make us something to eat? It might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Wow, that's awesome. What's your specialty? Chili oil. The condiment? <laughs> Just kidding. Ah, uh, the jokester, huh? Our early mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile. Ah, uh, well that's good. How did it happen so fast? Like a mask or some kind of neutral expression. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat before returning to our rooms. Alright, so we're back in the room now and we have the sword here. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel much more uncomfortable. That's wonderful. Well, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Um, I probably should hear more. As you live out your school life here, you will be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you'll witness intimate events, and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new skills, which will prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Also, keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you will automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. 
If you prefer not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep to skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then anyway, why don't you try it out, spending some time with Miss Sayaka Maizono. This is the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? Ooh, awesome, so we have some free time now. Actually, before we go, I want to quickly check if I can enter my bathroom. It doesn't quite fit the door frame. I'll have to make sure to remember the trick to me. Oh, okay. So I'm not allowed to go into the bathroom. Then I guess we should just leave. Uh, yeah, let's leave our room. Alright, let's see. Um, is Saika here? Oh yeah, she is. Max, I'm really afraid. Hmm, should I talk to her for some while? Uh, yeah, let's just spend some time with Saika. Are you going to train cheer me up? Sorry for making you take time out of your day like this. No, that's okay. Did my best to comfort Saika. Saika and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Um, I would, but I don't know if I have anything. Do I have anything? I guess I could give her a school crest. That appears to me the only thing I have. And by god, this present screen scrolls so slowly. Um, I guess it's worth a shot to see what happens. Oh, we can't give it. It's a key item. Um, well, I don't think I have anything else. Um, yeah, maybe... Yeah, I'm sure, because I don't have anything. Do you think you could make time for the two of us to talk? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal? Well, it's just... I guess I was kind of formal, but... I know I can count on you. Huh? <laughs> and you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. If you weren't here, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be so lost. I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but I'm relieved you're with me. Oh, well, yeah. That's, uh, good. It's nice, but a bit embarrassing. I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. <sighs> really? Well, thank you for the flattery. Hmm. <laughs> that smile. The mysterious smile that softens my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved my day. But it's kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. Well, yeah, you were a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Because I looked at you all the time? What? I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? But... I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That's one of my biggest regrets. But why me? Why did you want to talk to me of all people? You remember during our first year of junior high, that huge bird wandered into the school pond? Um, I kind of remember something like that. It was like out of a fairy tale. The turtle once every million years, that bird once every thousand. The huge bird wandered into the school pond. I think it might have been... How am I supposed to know what bird it was? Um, was it a sparrow? Sparrow, right? Sparrows were really coming around there, right? We had a whole flock living here. Oh, but sparrows do show up in all kinds of fairy tales. Like the one, the tongue-cut sparrow. True. But no, the bird was a lot bigger. A huge bird. Oh, well, um... A crane is pretty big. Yeah, it was a crane. It just walked right into the pond. Yeah, that's right. That's what it was. So big, the teacher had no idea what to do. But you let it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way it's out. Ugh, I can't talk. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of animals at school, they kind of made me do it. Mm, I should have said thank you, but is it okay if I do it now? Thank me for what? I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> Just kidding. What? You are one weird girl. Honestly, I was so impressed. That's why I wanted to talk to you. Even just once. Never imagined this would be how I got my chance, though. Yeah, if we had met at a train station, that'd make a much nicer dramatic reunion. But, no, it's this weird school. Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find my way out. Just like that crane. You'll save me. 
It's just intuition, you know. But I still believe it. I'm going to save her? Hmm. Well, I'll do my best and uh, hopefully it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Said my intuition always turns out to be right. Because I'm psychic. <laughs> yeah, I'm still not sure about that kidding. You say it a bit too much for it to still be a joke. Well, I'm glad that her smile makes me happy. Alright, her report card has been updated. You just unlocked the skill Melodious Voice. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Hmm. Is free time over now? Oh, yep. It looks like it's night time again. Well, today's has already come to an end, but I swear tomorrow we'll find some clue. I swear. Well, we might just do it. As my eyelids began to slide closed, the conversation I had with Sayako that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. If you never understand where desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did. So I can't say I feel things the way she does. Compared to her, no. Compared to everyone else here, there's no doubt I just don't match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. Hmm. Oh, we have another Monokuma Theater. Hmm, so I'm sure that you've noticed the killing game has begun, but there's still room for a little laughter. It seems our newest students, already so filled with despair, still have some hope of escape. <laughs> so when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? 